What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Undo, which um, has been my savior in the last couple of days. Um, because most of my portfolio, or at least not most, I mean if you, if, you, if you count Bitcoin and Ethereum, most of my portfolio is in that. Um, but Undo, apart from that, is my like third biggest holding, alright, so, so that has held up my portfolio quite well. And what you see in general with Ondo, I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I, I like Ondo a lot, all right? I think it's great. I think it has a bright future. There's an easy 10x still there, in my opinion. Um, so that's all true, but but the, the way that Ondo has, has absorbed the selling pressure we had over the last two days, uh, so first of all on Friday evening and then on Saturday evening, has been amazing, all right? This level right here around 70 cents has held up extremely well. Um, and we had some big spikes down, but but ultimately Ondo was bought up very very quickly. And right now, if we if we purely talk about the the structure for Ondo, we are actually still consolidating. Like we're not bearish. Most cryptos right now are actually to a certain extent very bearish. Um, but no, Ondo is is still consolidating ultimately between seventy and eighty five cents, which obviously begs the question: is that if if Ondo has been so resilient or so strong? when Bitcoin and the market was super bearish, maybe we've have actually bottomed out here. What if Bitcoin breaks out? Can Undo then also break out? And I think that that's a fair question. I mean, I do think that if, if you look at this this behavior for Undo, um, I don't think it's necessarily the, the, the end of the world, but I do think that there's some perhaps manipulation going on, at least some whales playing around with the price. So that also means that we, we could see some sort of an inverse reaction. So that Bitcoin turns bullish here or Bitcoin recovers a bit here and that Ondo starts falling. It's a possibility. Uh, but if we look at Ondo right now, it, it's it's really 50-50, right? If you look at the momentum, that's pretty good. Momentum is, is uh, after each drop, like I said, is, is really regaining. So every time we have like a spike of, of like 30 or 40 million dollars in, in, in positions being opened, that's super bullish. It's a lot of money. Um, and then... Look, for me, what it depends on is Bitcoin, all right? It's it's Sunday right now. We're about to open a new week. What usually happens in that time frame is that new money, new capital flows into the markets. So the big question is, is all right, was this the local bottom for Bitcoin? Can we get some sort of a short-term bullish breakout above 65,500 and get some short-term bullish momentum? If yes, then I think Ondo has, has a good chance to actually break above 85 cents and to start rallying back up to the previous tops at 95 and $1. And because of that reason, and because what they usually say is that when the markets are very, very fearful, that's the moment when we bottom. And I would say yesterday was a very, very fearful day. Um, so I think that there's a good chance that this was the bottom. We need some confirmation though, so I would not long on though. Um, but if there's a good chance that this is the bottom, and if Ondo so far has been extremely strong and resilient, then there is a good chance that when Bitcoin gets that bullish breakout, Ondo right now is like super close to the resistance level it needs to break above, which is 85 cents. So there's a super, super high chance that Ondo then gets that bullish breakout with the bullish momentum in the markets and starts to rally. So that's why, look, from a consolidation, technically it's most likely, or technically it's 50-50, right? We either get a bullish breakout or a bearish breakout. And with these circumstances and with the price action we've seen so far from Ondo, um, I would, be, I would be feel, feel very bad about myself if I did not say that a bullish breakout is most likely. So I would not enter right now because technically we're still waiting for some confirmation from Bitcoin, but I would keep your eyes on that 85 cents level because I do think that there's a, a significant chance that we break above that. Um, so keep your eyes on that. I think that's what you need to know for now. Obviously, if Bitcoin turns bearish and Ondo uh, drops down below its support level, uh, below 70 cents, that's the other side of the story, will be bearish, all right? Uh, so be careful, all right? Know what the possibilities are and position yourself uh, or make your plans accordingly. And those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.